Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we're going to have a look at the Bugs 3 Pro, so I'm going to do an initial overview and tell you what I think of it so far. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we've got the Bugs 3 Pro. So this arrived in the post the other day. I obviously done the review of the 5W and I wanted to see the comparison to see what this was like compared to it. So in the box, I'm not going to do an unboxing, but in the box you get the drone, the camera, the battery obviously, a set of props and a spare set, the controller, the phone holder, the charger, which is different than the 5W's one. Same type of thing, but this one comes with a plug. Mm, not an English one, but it comes with a plug and it still charges the same way. It still only charges at an amp, so I'd recommend not using this. I'd recommend getting some kind of hobby grade charger that charges a couple of amps and because this is really slow. And then just plug this straight into your 2S balance port of your hobby grade charger. You also get the user manual. The Bugs user manuals are actually quite good. I like the Bugs user manuals, they're quite descriptive. They're in good English. Uh, the C6000 camera, which is the one that comes on it, so you get a sheet for that. Your bugs, of course, your bug stickers. And then these, which I do like. So these are really nice. They give you a quick overview of everything on here. Tell you basic functions of what everything does. Very nice quick start guide. I do like these a lot. Um, they started doing these on the later ones. So, let's so get in the box. So, let's have a look at the drill. So, let's set the battery out. I bought the camera version. And I bought the 6000, which is a 1080p, I believe the 5000 is a 720, and then you can also buy it, which is drone only and no camera. Um, which probably would be the way to go, maybe. But I do, this mount isn't that bad, actually, so it's got, it comes with a mount, as you can see, camera mounts on there. It's your typical ball mounted. And then it has micro USB there. Sorry, micro USB there, plugged into the top and then plugged in to power up your phone. Your phone goes into this holder and it comes with two bits of foam which go in the back there so you can space out to put different cameras in. So if you wanted to put a GoPro in here, it does fit. They've changed the props, so I quite like the props for the top thumb, but these are self-tightening props. You get a tool that locks in there to hold them on, so it's got self-tightening props now and they are obviously handed it's got there, I don't know if you can see that, it's got a B on the arm and it has a B on the prop so you can't really go wrong. You couldn't put the wrong props on the wrong side anyway. It also has these, now I'm presuming these are going to be for prop guards. Well I'm presuming that's what they were for. There's no prop guards in the box and unless I can't, um, I can't see them, I can't find any on the internet. I don't want prop guards and I won't be using it but I find it strange that they put them on if they're not going to have prop guards. Bit weird. Uh, the controller is exactly the same as the 5W, really nice, I love this controller, changeable to mode 1, I like the phone holder, it's a good thing, it's nice and strong, still got the, the antennas which are fake, I uh, don't know why the people, why they need to feel the need to put fake antennas on, but the controller's really nice, and as I say, exactly the same as the 5W. So, this is your battery, so it is obviously a proprietary battery, it's a 2S2800, good for about 16-17 minutes flight time, um, depends how you fly it obviously, same as every other. So, like the other, like the other bugs, there's no on and off switch on this, now a lot of people mention they'd rather have an on and off switch, but if you're used to f f fly, um, flying racing quads and stuff, none of them do, so it doesn't really bother me, so... Same thing, plug it in, it will automatically power it up. <laughs> on with your controller. Is that locked it? Sure, that's locked. Yeah. I think it has actually. Yeah. So the app is the Bugs Go app. So you just need to go into your phone. 
and go into your settings choose your Wi-Fi and it's bugs as you can see on there it's a bugs one click that wait till it connects we're in and then it's the bugs that many apps on different phones so it's a bugs go app and I'm using it with the C6000 for the Bug 3 Pro. You can see that on there. Select that one, hit go. Next, next. Take the camera cover off, would help. And we're in. So you can see the camera has got that there, which means it's connected, and then. You've got, as you have on the 5W, you've got photo, single press, long press for video. Take off and land. Return to home. Unlock your motors. GPS on and off. Headless mode on and off. And again, the buttons on the back do absolutely nothing. Um, bit strange really, but... The app itself, which we will, which I'll probably go through on part two of this more when I've done through the flight footage, but you can see the app. It has your map, which I've got no GPS in this room at all where I am. Um, sorry, I've packed all the way out of that. So you've got your app, of, you've got your, your map, and then up here you've got your signal strength, your battery craft power, your transmitter power your height and distance if you press this one it gives you just a standard screen which is how I like to fly it uh, 3D so if you want to wear some goggles and then the fire button is where your videos are stored I've got none on here and then you've got camera and um, video and these are your flight modes you've got you've got follow me and you've got waypoint mode and you've got orbit I haven't flown this yet, I haven't tested it because the weather here is absolutely horrendous I actually don't think that's connected but it doesn't really matter anyway um, the weather here is absolutely horrendous so I'm not going to be flying it at the minute so I wanted to get the video up to show you what came in the box and what my initial thoughts of it is so my initial thoughts, when I ordered this I did think that it was quite ugly so <laughs> I have to be honest, when I saw the video of it uh, on videos and pictures I thought this is actually what have they done here it's a bit ugly but actually when you've got it and you've got it here it doesn't look bad at all it, it's nice it's like a I don't know if the camera shows it properly it's like a cream finish rather than white and it is nicely finished off it feels plasticky don't get me wrong the landing legs are not the best and, and these have to be both screwed in so you get eight screws to put them in and the camera just clips on and off it's got some latency on the camera as you can imagine but as you can see let's just have a quick look see if you can get some kind of there you go it's sharp i'm quite impressed at the sharpness of it i don't think it looks too much different than the camera on the 5w so the bits that amazed me at this why they didn't put the same camera on the 5w has got i don't know uh, maybe they thought this was a better option or maybe they thought they wanted to put a gopro so you could put a gopro on it i am going to test it with a gopro at some point but at the minute i'm just happy flying it with what it's got on it's stock camera that's how i bought it um overall so far i'm really happy with it it's nicely finished off i like the finish i like the quality i've got used to the bugs quality and it, it's nothing less than what you'd expect from bugs I do like the fact that it powers the camera, no separate battery to mess around with. And so I'm looking forward to giving it a flight. So this is my part one. So, so far, yeah, I love it. I think it looks fantastic. So let's get some, fly, some flight done and get some flight footage up and join me in part two. Can't guarantee when well that's going to be. It's going to take a few days because of the weather, but thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.